Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We finally have our first complexion product from 2020 and today we're going to be talking all about that. Today is the new Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I keep wanting to say Screen Queens because that's one of my favorite shows ever, um, but it's not. It's Screen Queen. So this foundation literally launched out of nowhere. There was no promotion for it anywhere. Um, Milani hasn't posted about it on their Instagram. I haven't seen literally anything about it at all. And then, um, Trend Mood posted a picture of somebody, like, that sent her a picture of the display at Ulta. And, yeah, it's just, like, up in Ulta. No explanation at all. You guys know how much I love Milani. I love their regular foundation. I love so many of their complexion products. And just uh, so many other products in general. I love so much from the brand, so I was super excited to see that they're coming out with a new foundation. Um, I do have some words and thoughts about this, but we are going to be testing this out today. I am starting to film a little bit later in the day, um, so I don't know. I am going to be doing a wear test. I just don't know how long of a wear test. So this is what the foundation looks like. I picked this up at Ulta in stores. It is not on the Ulta website at the moment when I'm, like, I checked. Um, it's not anywhere online except for in stores at Ulta. It's so weird. I don't know why, but there's literally like no information about this foundation at all or anything. Getting straight off of the actual packaging, I'm also going to read off of Trend Mood's post on her Instagram because um, that's where a lot of the information is too and she has like the picture of the display and stuff. The natural finish foundation. On the back it says it's a luminous natural skin finish. It's buildable, light to medium coverage, and it says long wear. That's it. Oh, on the front of it, it also says it has a digital blue light filter. And then on the display at Ulta, it says that it filters out blue light, which is the light that comes from your electronics, so your phone, your computer, things like that. Um, I have blue light glasses because it hurts my eyes after a while to look at my phone for a long time. And since this is my work, I'm constantly look at, looking at my phone. So this does have a digital blue light filter. I guess to block the blue light from your face. I don't know. It comes in 45 shades, which is what I want to talk about because in stores, there's only 17 shades in store. So I don't know if it's going to be like one of those things where like only some of the shades will be online and some of them are in store because this is what the display looks like. I'll put a picture on the screen because it's the glare and stuff. But the shade range does not look the best just from the display in Ulta. Um, it doesn't look terrible, but it, it looks like they like sectioned it off into sections like fair, light, medium, and dark. That's what it looks like from the display. You guys, I used to work at Ulta, so I'm seeing it in stores. This is on just an end cap, and I think it might be like on some edgiers in Ulta, which are like the tall things that are like in the middle of the aisles um, where all the new products are at. So I'm not sure if they're just putting these shades out just for the display um, and like once they actually get the plano for like this launch or whatever like once it's inside the aisle on the Milani display and stuff like that in their regular aisles that they might get the full line I'm not too sure but right now it's just on an end cap I don't know, like what the whole deal with that is I don't know um, I'm thinking and hoping that at least most of the shades will be in stores because that's I hate buying foundation online. I've said this so many times, but buying foundation online sucks, especially because me and I know so many other people have such a hard time finding shade matches already. So like buying online is even harder. So I don't know. I don't know what the rest of the shade range looks like because there's only this one photo. Like I hope it's a good shade range. I'm assuming this is going to be like a dewy-ish foundation. So I'm going to prep my skin accordingly to what I think this foundation is going to be, which is like a luminous foundation. I hope it's not too dewy because I don't really like dewy foundations, but I do like a nice like natural finish foundation. So hopefully um, it's kind of like that. Just go into it. I got the shade Warm Vanilla. I, they did have testers in store, which was really helpful, so I did swatch it on my face. I, I don't know. Ulta's lighting's weird, so a lot of the times I pick the wrong shade. But So what I think I'm going to do for skin prep beforehand is I think I'm going to go in with the Fenty Matte Primer in this area because I do get shiny in this area if I do use a more dewier foundation. And I think I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh everywhere else because my skin is still kind of dry right now. So I'm just taking a little bit of the Fenty and I'm just going to put this in this area. Like the areas that I know um, get really dewy. I don't really get oily. It just gets really shiny. Um, especially because I'm always out and like doing things. So I'm really just working that into the skin. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop 
pretty fresh one everywhere else because my skin is still dry. Um, I already have my skincare on and stuff too, so I have that extra layer of hydration. If you guys want to see my skin prep for dry skin and you guys didn't see um, my base routine video, I will put that in a little eye thingy up here. So this is what the foundation looks like. It has a cap and then it has a pump, which I adore. I love foundations with a pump. So let's see. So this is how much you get with one pump. So I'm going to take Ah, uh, okay, that's two pumps. So it's just a, that's like the perfect amount. I feel like that might even be more than I need. So I'm taking a damp sponge. This is the Makeup Shack sponge, and we're just gonna go into it. I'm not gonna do one side with a brush or anything like that. I never use brushes for my foundation, so it's pointless for me to do that. Um, this foundation does it doesn't seem really liquidy. Like it's see, it's just like staying on the back of my hand. It's not really runny or anything. So that's cool. Alright, that looks like it'll be a good shade match. And like it said, it is a buildable coverage. It starts off light. It's like a light to medium coverage, which I love. I love a good light to medium coverage foundation. So one layer is definitely light coverage for sure. Um, just upon application, I can already tell. It's evening out my skin tone, but I can still see pretty much all my freckles, everything. Um on my skin so let's see I definitely think this is a good shade match one and two it definitely evens out your skin tone which is nice I don't have a lot of light coverage foundation it's nice I think this would be a really good like everyday kind of base you know I like my skin to show still sometimes on a normal basis I do like a more medium coverage though so sorry so many people get so annoyed when people don't have their hair back <laughs> when applying foundation so yeah so one layer it just kind of evened out my skin tone but I can still see like my freckles and stuff I'll film a little clip on my phone so you guys can see that camera so this is pretty much like one layer looks nice I can still see like freckles and everything though, but I have a nice little glow. Let's go in with another layer and see how buildable this foundation is. So this is now the second layer. Add a little bit more coverage, but it's weird. I feel like it's, is it adding coverage? Okay, it covered up the redness around my nose. So it is. I just can't tell because I still see like freckles and everything on my face. I like it. I like that my skin still looks like skin and it's just adding a little bit more coverage. I feel like it's adding more pigment if anything. Like does that make sense? Like I see more color on my skin but not so much more coverage. I have like this little breakout right here and it doesn't really cover that up too much. I did use the two complete pumps so... Um, I'm going to add like a quarter of a pump more and see, I'm going to add some to my forehead. So I'm going to add a little bit more right here and see if it covers because okay, I think it's pretty much going to stay at that. I don't think it's going to build up anymore to be honest. Um, I like the coverage. It's not too dewy or anything, it just kind of has like a nice luminosity to the skin. Um, but it doesn't feel like that tacky dewiness, which is nice because I hate that feeling, so I'm glad it doesn't have that. It just has like this really pretty luminosity to the skin. But my skin looks nice. It doesn't seem to be settling or anything, but go medium coverages have a little bit more coverage than this. So I'll, I'll change my mind once I apply concealer. So this is just like initial application okay, now it's 11:38 for time references later on i'm gonna apply some concealer i'm gonna just go ahead and use the milani one because i love this one there's a hair on my face and i can't seem to find it and it's bothering me okay let's just apply some concealer you know what this one is empty my color so i'm just gonna use my kylie concealer i guess and we'll see how this applies on top of it God, concealer just really works wonders. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like once the concealer is blended out. 
I don't know how I feel about my skin right now. Like, I don't mind it. I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just so used to, like, my skin and the way it looks with other foundations now. I don't, I don't know. This one I'm, like, okay with. Like, it just kind of looks like a everyday nice foundation. I don't, I don't know. I don't have thoughts on it yet. I feel like I need to see my face with the rest of my makeup on right now. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. I don't usually set my face with powder like the rest of my face, so I'm just setting my under eyes. And this foundation doesn't, it's a little tacky, but not too crazy or anything. So I actually might set the areas where I'm going to put like bronzer and stuff. So like right here, right here. And I'm also going to put a little bit on my chin. Go ahead and put some bronzer on. And see how that goes on top of it. Put a little bit of powder there just so like it wouldn't stick to certain areas. So bronzer seems to be going on fine on top of it. Not having any issues with that. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and give you guys kind of like my first impressions on it. Right now it's 11.46 so I've had this on for what like 8 minutes so far. Um, I do like it a little bit more now that I have like concealer on and stuff. Now that I'm seeing my, more of my face coming to life. Um, I do think the color match was a really good color match and stuff. It's like a perfect match. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this face real quick, and I'll be right back. So I just finished up the rest of my makeup. Right now, it is 12, 16, so I've had this on for, what, like 45-ish, 40 minutes now? I don't, I don't know, around there. Um, and I actually, yeah, see, so this is what I mean by I, I need to see it with the rest of my makeup done. I love how my skin looks. I think it looks really, really pretty, and it has this luminosity to it. You guys can see it kind of in this area, which... Also scares me a little bit because that is the area that I get the most shiny in um, after a long day. You can see there is like a glow to my skin and I think it looks really nice. So once the rest of my makeup was on, I definitely think that I like it more now than I did initially because at first I was kind of like, eh, alright. Um, also, I want to show you guys, I'm wearing the new Time Los Angeles lip glosses. I was so excited because I've been telling Ashley to come out with glosses forever. So this is in the shade Mistress. I have it on with the Alamad Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner. The best combo ever. This is such a pretty nude lip combo. I'm also wearing Milani Luminoso on my cheeks as well. I think that's kind of where some of that glow is coming from as well. But it definitely is from the foundation um, because I wear luminoso all the time and it never looks this luminous underneath right here um so I definitely think there is a luminosity to the skin I think my skin looks really like, pretty it looks it just looks glowing that's what I think when I see it um even in the camera if you guys keep seeing me look up I'm looking at like my viewfinder and my skin just looks so pretty um I think this is a really good color match for me um I will list all my like shade references and other foundations in the description box down below. I wanted to mention there are, this is a fluid, one fluid ounce, so it's like a normal typical foundation size. Um, it is a glass bottle. I was trying to think of like what else I forgot to mention earlier, but so far I do like it. I don't know how long this is going to last. I hope it lasts at least like seven hours. I'm hoping. Um, I do have some stuff to do today. I do have to go to the worst place ever, the mall. I have to go do the worst thing ever at the mall, which is try on clothes. So that should be fun. But um, we'll see how that lasts. You're like changing clothes and stuff. And you guys already know when you guys are trying on clothes, it gets hot. You get sweaty. It's not a good time. I hate trying clothes on at the mall. It's disgusting. I hate it. Um, but I have to do what I have to do. So yeah, um, so far I do really, really like it so far for a more luminous foundation. You guys know I prefer a more natural matte foundation, but I don't think it looks too overly dewy or anything like that. It actually feels really nice on the skin. I don't really feel um, anything on my skin at all. It feels pretty light. It um, doesn't feel heavy, um, and I do just really like this like glow that I have to my skin. I look glowing. I really do. I will check in through the day. I will do like one check-in probably when I get back from the mall. Um, and we'll see how it's holding up from there. Um, and then I will check in at the end of the day as well. But so far, so good. I do like it. Will this be the best drugstore foundation this year? Who knows? Main Champ is still the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. So it might be up there. By the way, I will list everything that I have on my face besides like the foundation and stuff. Like my eyes, my lashes, all that stuff in the description box down below. 
Um, also, if this foundation somehow decides to launch on the Ulta website, Milani website, anything, I will link it. Um, yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit, so I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so I'm back. I was gone a lot longer than I expected. Um, right now it is 6.22, so I've had this on for like seven hours. Is that seven hours? I don't even know anymore. I have like the worst anxiety right now. I'm like trying to calm myself down and not have a panic attack right now but I just I can't breathe and I'm like I'm like very very anxious right now so um I'm sorry if I've like seen like all over the place but yeah so it's 6 uh 22 right now so I've had that on for however long that is I can't even think straight right now um to be honest it still looks really really good um I thought it was gonna be a lot shinier or something but I'm really not um yeah, I'm honestly really surprised. Yeah, I mean, it still looks really good. Um, it kind of, like, I can see my, like, chin area kind of not, it doesn't look bad. I can just tell that I've had it on for a while. Like, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. Like, you know when you've had foundation on for a little bit, that's kind of what it looks like, but it doesn't look bad. Like, I would still go out like this. Um, I'm honestly really surprised. I feel like this area still kind of looks the same from earlier. Um, it's not too shiny or anything. It didn't really settle in my lap lines or anything either. Um, around my nose still looks really good, so I'm actually really impressed with that because that's usually the first sign of me not liking a foundation or I can tell when a foundation just really isn't for me is by around my nose, like that area. But everywhere else looks pretty good. I'm honestly very impressed so far. Um, I didn't really have the highest expectations but I love Milani products so I was it was either gonna be like I liked it or I didn't but so far I think it looks really good I have like a natural glow to my face but it doesn't look shiny or oily um, I'm not too sure how this would look on oily skin I have more normal to dry skin right now it's a little bit on the drier side um, but not too dry right now so um, but yeah that's what it looks like so far I'll put a little clip from my phone somewhere right here um, but yeah, so far so good. I don't know how much more I'll be wearing this. Probably the, a couple more hours because I'm going to go to Ryan's in a little bit and I won't be filming from there on. So pretty much my little check-in right now. I, I will check in with you guys at the end of the day to give you guys my final um, thoughts on everything and see how it's looking. But so far so good. I've been out all day. Um, it was really hot in the mall too, like very stuffy, gross. You know when you're in the fitting rooms, so it just ugh gross um I was trying clothes on and everything so it still looks pretty good I'm honestly really impressed um so yeah I will check in with you guys at the end of the day hey guys I just took a nap it was nice um I feel a lot better from earlier but I wanted to check in with you guys now it is 8 39 so I've had this on for what like nine hours I think now and I'm honestly really really impressed with it um it doesn't feel like you know when you've had a foundation on for a long time, long day, and it just feels gross? It doesn't feel like that, so I'm really happy about that. I think my skin looks really good. It's getting a little shiny now in this area, but it's not too bad. I'm going to touch it up with my Fenty powder and see how it looks. This is the Fenty blotting powder. Sometimes when I do start getting a little bit shiny, this is what I will use. So let's see. I literally just take like a little bit. You guys see why I love the Fenty powder? Do you see the difference? Just like that little tiny tap. I just literally go like that, tap it off, and do that. So let's see what the foundation looks like once I do that. It looks fine. It looks perfect. Like it did when I first applied it. So let's see. There we go. Honestly, just doing those three things right there, I would go out like this and be fine. Let me look closely in the mirror. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Um, I am noticing like a little bit around my mouth. It is kind of like getting a little, I wouldn't say cakey, but like I said, I think I mentioned it earlier, just like it looks like it's been on for a while, but that's about it. My mouth and my nose are my problem area, so I'm not like that shocked that the foundation looks like that, um, but honestly, it's, I think it still looks really good. Um, I don't know if I would wear this out like on a hot day because I feel like it maybe not, would not last that long. So, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I think it looks really good. Um, for like a luminous foundation, I'm really impressed that it lasted this long and still looks good. I don't think it looks bad at all. My my skin has looked really healthy and glowy 
all day so I really really like it pleasantly surprised I do like it a lot and I can definitely see myself wearing this as like an everyday foundation as well we got a winner already in the beginning of the year I really like this I'm really excited to keep wearing it um, I think my skin looked so good. Well, it still looks good right now, but when I first applied it earlier, I really was shocked with how nice my skin looked. I mean, like, I most found, like, I have my foundations where, like, my skin looks nice, but this one just gave me, like, a different kind of glow, and I really liked how it looked, and yeah, I mean, I like it right now. I think, I mean, I haven't touched up my makeup at all or anything. Like, I still can see my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, everything's still there. Um... My nose, I can see, like, it's a little bit more shiny than, like, I would normally like. <laughs> Just because, like, when my um, nose starts to get a little shiny, my nose contour looks a little rough. So, that's the only thing, but it's not anything that I would, like, not wear this foundation for, you know? I settle around my smile lines, which is so good. I'm so happy about that because that's usually where I have that problem where everything settles into my lap line. So, um, yeah, I'm, it didn't even cake up or anything around my nose which is shocking because even some of my like favorite foundations on days where my skin's a little bit dry it still will kind of settle and cake up in my like nose <laughs> crevice and this one didn't wow I'm impressed with that that is like one of the things I'm really impressed with when it comes to oily skin I'm not too sure how this would work on you if you guys have oily skin and you have tried it already let me know in the comments down below like I said this is available in Ulta stores um I have not seen it online actually let me double check real quick let me just make sure it's not online um when I'm filming this let's see I look at the Ulta like just arrived section all the time and I haven't seen anything yet so yeah it's oh it's online you guys it, I didn't see it earlier okay so it is online it's $13.99 mainly talks like most of the information that it gives is just about the blue light filter and stuff and the damage from that um it says it'll give you a woke up like this effortly perfected skin um buildable like medium coverage pretty much what I said earlier natural luminous natural skin finish so that was pretty much that um because it's a weightless formula instantly blurs imperfections available in 45 shades non-ashy formula that's an interesting detail I've never seen that before in like the detail section um cruelty free vegan formulated for all skin types tones and ages so yeah I'll link it down below then you guys because I didn't know earlier that it was online because when I had checked before it wasn't so now and even everyone was like DMing me that it wasn't online so yeah I mean I, they might have just put it up I'm not too sure but it's really weird the deepest shade is out of stock and I'm like how I mean the shade range looks good from the ones like in the little scroll box thing it's 45 shades are in there for comparison my shade is pretty far down the list so let me see, one, two, three. my shade is 14 down from the lightest shade, which is impressive. Usually, I'm like, in most shade ranges, I'm like at least maybe third or fourth in like decent shade ranges, you know, not like full good shade ranges, but like most drugstore foundations that don't have the best shade range, I'm usually like third, fourth, fifth maybe in the line. So I'm 14th down, which is insane. So I want to see what everything looks up lined up next together in person, like or real life images of the foundation because I'm just seeing like little, um, you know, the ones online. It's not the same. So definitely recommend trying it out. Go to Ulta, pick it up, see if it works for you. If you can't, just return it. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Leave me a comment down below if you're going to pick this foundation up, if you're interested in it, or if you just don't care. Leave me a comment down below. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.